Daniel Chester French was considered the greatest monument sculptor in the post-Civil War America. His work left an indelible mark on the country, most notably the Lincoln Memorial. Many of French's works were created in the Berkshires at his country retreat, Chesterwood, which is a national historic landmark, and Connecting Point's Marla Zippe visited there recently to learn more from its executive director, Donna Hassler, and Harold Holzer, author, author of the forthcoming book, Monument Man, The Life and Art of Daniel Chester French. Chesterwood is the former home, studio, and gardens of Daniel Chester French. Uh, French is one of the most prominent American public sculptors in the United States. He lived from 1850 to 1931, and he spent over 30 summers here at Chester Wood. He found the Berkshires because he was here visiting some friends who were also artists. When his wife came into the town of Stockbridge, she turned to her husband and said, I don't know where you're going to live, but I'm gonna live in Stockbridge. So she was the one who actually determined this would be the place where they'd have their country retreat. French purchased this property. It was known as the Warner Farm in 1896 and started to develop and create his artist retreat here in the Berkshires. Daniel Chester French was a teenager in Concord, Massachusetts, and his father was a professional man, sent him to MIT, where he promptly flunked out. All the while, he was developing an interest in sculpting. And you know, it's very hard to trace the moment when that talent and that passion converge. Uh, we don't know whether it was a snow sculpture and a New England storm, or his first mound of clay that he successfully modeled into an animal figure and left on his father's dinner plate to frighten him. Uh, whatever it was, his father made sure he had an art education. At a very young age, he had the good fortune to A, get a hugely important commission for the Minuteman in Concord, Massachusetts, and also um, to get uh, the opportunity to study in Florence. And the statue was an extraordinary success. And out of this extraordinary first commission, his name was made. I think French's most important contribution is always the Lincoln Memorial. Not only was it the largest and the most um, colossal triumph of any sculptor in America, but it became, over the decades, a scene of um, aspiration and memory. Uh, and of course, Martin Luther King Jr. consecrated it for all time with the I Have a Dream speech in which he spoke about the monument, about Lincoln, about the emancipation. So the Lincoln remains a symbol of American hopes and dreams, always aspirational, not quite met. So he is the symbol of an America that still yearns to be a more perfect union. French's aesthetic was all about creating beauty, both in his work as well as in his surroundings. His daughter, Margaret French Cresson, uh, grew up here and she watched her father model in the studio. She reminisces about walking in the grounds with her father, learning about nature, and developing a true love of Chester Wood. She decided that she wanted to preserve Chester Wood for the community at large and the public to visit to learn about her father's legacy, his important work of American sculpture, and eventually she transferred the property to the National Trust for Historic Preservation in 1968. It's important to preserve houses like this to understand, especially an artist's home and studio, the nature of the creative process 
I think you have a better understanding coming to Chesterwood about the artist, his inspiration, and what his life was like during a certain time period in American history. I often tell people to take some time to relax, enjoy the beautiful view of Monument Mountain, sit on the studio piazza, and take a moment for yourself.